Jesus is worthy of worship. I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It's Friday, June 12th. For chapter day, we're reading Revelation chapter 1. And for this reflection, I'm going to do a brief overview of the entire book of Revelation. But I want to start with Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, where John writes, The Revelation of Jesus Christ. This book is not the revelation of the end of times. It is not a secret code to try to figure out when Jesus is actually returning. In 1970, The Late Great Planet Earth was written by Hal Lindsey, a megaseller which dominated all popular discussion of this book and continues to still influence the common approaches to the reading of the text of Revelation. Uh, Hal predicted that in 1988, the end of the world would be ushered in by the return of Jesus. In 1989, he began, I think, to reconsider the date, and he assured his readers, the general public, that Jesus would be returning in the year 2000. But apparently, Jesus did not only return, and neither did Y2K. If you don't know what that is, uh, it is about the crashing of all the world computers. Apparently, the outstanding proceeds from the sales of his books would have even more time to mature. Following upon Hal Lindsey's work would be the 1995 blockbuster series Left Behind by Tim LaHaye. At least Mr. LaHaye had the decency to advertise this as fiction, which it is. My main point is not that I have problems with uh, those two books, but it, because they have great entertainment value in them, it's the idea that we can read and understand the book of Revelation through the lenses of these books. Take a moment. When I use the word apocalypse, what's the first thing you think of? If it's in times, You've been affected by those previous reading, by the re- writings of Hal Lindsey and by Tim LaHaye, because the word does not mean the end of times. Apocalypse in the Greek means revelation. The question to the approach of the book of Revelation then is revelation of what? And of course, John does not keep it a mystery. He tells us right in ver- chapter 1, verse 1, it is the revelation of Jesus the Christ. Jesus is the theme, he is the point, he is the focus of this book from its beginning to its end. He is the one who speaks to the churches in chapters 1 through 3. He is the Lamb of God who sacrificed himself and is worthy of worship in chapters 4 and 5. He is the only one who is worthy of opening the scrolls, chapters 6 through 12. He is the one who is powerful enough to defeat the beast, chapters 13 through 18. He is the champion who is worthy of having the army of God follow him as he rides the white horse while being dipped in his own blood and he ushers in the marriage of heaven and earth. Listen to the titles given to Jesus in the book of Revelation. The Messiah. Revelation 1.1, the faithful witness, Revelation 1.5, the first begotten of the world, Revelation 1.5, the prince of the kings of the earth, Revelation 1.5, the alpha and the omega, Revelation 1.8, the first and the last, Revelation 1.11, the son of man, Revelation 1.13, he that liveth and was dead, Revelation 1.18. He that holds the seven stars, Revelation 2.1. He that walks amidst the golden candlesticks, Revelation 2.1. He who has the sharp sword with two edges, Revelation 2.12. The Son of God, Revelation 2.18. He that searches the hearts and minds of men, Revelation 2.23, he that has the seven spirits of God, Revelation 3.1, he that has the seven stars, 
Revelation 3.11, he who is holy and true. Revelation 3.7, he that has the key of David. Revelation 3.7, he that opens what no person can shut. Revelation 3.7, he that can shut what no person can open. Revelation 3.7, he who is the Amen. Revelation 3.14, the faithful and true witness. Revelation 3.14, the beginning of the creation of God. Revelation 3.14, the Lord. Revelation 4.11, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Revelation 5.5, 5, the Root of David. Revelation 5.9, the Lamb that was slain. Revelation 5.7, the Lamb. Revelation 5.8, the Lord of Lords. Revelation 17.14, King of Kings. Revelation 17.14, the Faithful and True. 19.11, the Rider on the White Horse. Revelation 19.11, the Word of God, Revelation 19.13, the Messiah, Revelation 24, the Lord God of the Holy Prophets, Revelation 22.6, the beginning and the end, Revelation 22.13, the bright and morning star, Revelation 22.16, if you approach the book of Revelation looking for the end of the world, you, like so many before you, may find it, while missing the main point. In this powerful imagery filled by the person of John with the images of Jesus Christ, who is the Holy One and who alone is worthy of worship. Praise be to Jesus signing out from the lakes. <laughs>